All right, guys, welcome back to some more L.A. Noir. This is actually going to be the third last case, so we're coming close to the end. We're going to Curtis Benson's house right now, try and find him. He's in number two, so we're going to go and confront him about this whole thing. I imagine he will not be pleased that we have pursued it, but he might actually freak out at us and try and attack us or something like that. But let's find out. Apartments two and three. Two is right here. Benson. Open up, bitch. Remember me? Jack. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack. How could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Oh, baby, he's not happy about that. Kelso's in beast mode right now. Alright, let's have a look around. Wait, pause it. Nothing. Okay. How old are you, princess? Sixteen, mister? Oh, God. How old are you, really? Nearly 13. You take love where you can find it as you get older. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get dressed, you're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed, you're leaving. She's only 12. Jesus Christ, Jack. She will only come back. 12 years old? Really, Curtis? Really, dude? Like, that's fucked. What age are you, Curtis? Jesus Christ, man. Oh, here's something, is it? To get all of the stockholders, I need to follow the Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. I don't think I will, my man. Insurance agreement. I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Now I know why. Of course. Let's have a look at our clues here. Did we find everything we need to here? Um, I think we did. Music has stopped. Where exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I just found everything I need to find, old man. I want answers, Curtis. You kitty fiddler. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Yeah, you're a kitty fiddler, though, so... I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. You're lying. And we you're have the lying, proof. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? Uh, the one... How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? Because they paid you money, bro. I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. 
We'll see about that, Jack. Hmm. Will we now? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. We already saw the goddamn lying, insur Curtis. insurance agreement. Come on. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? With the insurance agreement we just we just got. You know? Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying <clears> the <throat> Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? You're lying, but we have no more evidence, so it's just doubt. Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Fuck Mr. Benson, pedophile. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and go. Let's take his car. Is this his car? I hope it's his car. Screw it. California Fire and Life. Cadillac V16 convertible. This is a sick car, dude. All right, let's get to California Fire and Life. We're supposed to be taking this to Phelps as well, I imagine. Because Kelso did say Phelps can, if anyone can figure it out, Phelps can. I really hope Kelso doesn't die though. I have a feeling either Kelso or uh, Phelps are going to kind of rebond and then one of them is going to die. Either Phelps or Kelso, I'm not sure which one is going to die, but I'm pretty sure that one of them will. I don't know why, but I kind of get that feeling. Maybe not. Alright, here we are, California Fire and Light. Let's do this. 10, 11 a.m., we're up bright and early. Try and get shit done. You can take sincerity. I'm just going up to my office party. Gotta check over some files. Okay. For storing the ride, here we are. Jack Kelso. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Um. This? 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Got to be more in these files. Oh, wait, something vibrated. What is the vibrating date? Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? Hmm. I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? 
It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields' developments? I ran it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I love this. I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. All right, we're going back to the Hall of Records. This is awesome, though. I fucking love Cole and Kelso being together. After all this, they're going to turn into the best of friends. Oh, friends. Them working together is a beautiful thing, though. Are we not here with Cole anymore? We're here by ourselves? Thought, we thought we were going to have a partner. I thought Cole was going to be with us. I guess not. My dude, what's up? Hello there. The land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. We've been here before when we had that cool set piece up on top of the goddamn chandelier, right? It's pretty dope, but... Land registry office? Wait, where is it? In here? I think it's down here. Land registry office. Hey, my dude. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Okay. Here? Is this it? Thank you, sir. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Okay, what are we looking for? Directors? Names? Oh, Courtney Sheldon. Here we go. This is the suburban redevelopment. Courtney. Fund. For God's sake. What's he got to do with this? I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. Okay. So Courtney Sheldon was the only one there that we I believe that is it. in the Wilshire area. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds east. 29 seconds north. Yeah. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. 58, okay. We gotta go all the way over here. Come on. There we go. The lot number's 1876988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. Registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here, use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. Okay. 1876988 divided by 90,000. Three more zeros. One, two, Three, 90,000, there we go. Got it, finally. 
I was putting in one too many zero in the 90,000. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? 21st letter in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, K, K, L, R, S, U, right? There we go. Brand book. Book value is 350. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is 3500. They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? Oh, fucking these guys. Really, dude? You know why I plump for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys! You do your talking once the smoke clears! Bitch, what up, though? How do you like them apples? Dead men are heavier. <laughs> Suckers. Is that him there? Yep. Nice shot. You're done, son. Beautiful. <laughs> that was nice. Alright, so we kill the, the henchmen. We're good to go. Uh, we're still kicking, alive and kicking. Barely. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down. It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes Lord from the Courtney. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Poor Courtney. You done fucked up, kid. All of the stories are coming to a head at once here. You can tell that it's near the end of the game. Answer the telephone. Whose apartment is this? Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Oh, shit. Kelso's going in. 
Who's he calling? Is he calling Phelps? He's calling Phelps. I like that we have this car for good now. The, the door opens backwards as well. Really weird. Alright. We're going to Leland Monroe's house. Is this all about to come to a crazy close? I think the next case after this one is DLC as well, so there might not be too much in the way of main story for that case. But, um, the one after this basically is the last story case, like, between Kelso and Phelps, like, learning all about the story. Because the next one was DLC, so I assume it's not too heavily story focused, it's just a case. But we'll see. Alright guys, up into the Hollywood Hills we go, to Leland Monroe's house. And it's just around the corner here, actually. We made it. Let's find out where he lives. I imagine it's quite a large house. Yes, it is. That's a huge garden. He has security there, you can see as well. Oh, we got guys with us, though. Is Phelps here? No. I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Semper Fi, baby. This is dope. I like this. Okay, I didn't know whether we could do that stealthy or not. Apparently, not. Nice. How long do you think you can hold out? We're not holding out very much longer, guys. We got these guys. Let's pick up this weapon. Oh, what a shot that was. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Frankie. Let's get after him. I don't even care. I'm going in hand. Okay, we're going in. We're going in for the kill, guys. How's that not killed him? He's dead anyway. All right, man. Hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. We all survived. Semper Fi. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're good. Everybody stay calm. Nice. Get wrecked, boys. Right, where to now? Through these doors, I'm imagining. There it is. Savage. Absolutely savage. Leland Monroe, you're going down. I'm sorry, sir. What's this, bitch? You're a very sweet-looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. <laughs> Monroe, where are you, damn it? Oh shit. How long do you think you can hold out? Oh my god, I just shot that guy about a hundred times. <laughs> How many bullets can these guys take? Goodness me. Okay, let's go upstairs, I'm guessing. Beautiful, beautiful. You're dead. You're dead, son. 
Right, where are we going from here? Down here? Is this him? Here he is. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. <laughs> oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. <laughs> That's my second <laughs> offer. You sadistic bastard. <clears throat> What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. <laughs> Gotta love it, dude. Alright, here's the newspaper. Oh, got a picture first, though. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. I think I'll pass on that one. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen them. He was He's going to kill Courtney, isn't he? I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer yeah. named Monroe. God damn it. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. <laughs> Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them drift away. God damn it. Courtney didn't deserve that, man. Courtney did not deserve that. <coughs> Poor guy. Roy Earl. That's a hell of a payroll. Roy fucking Earl, piece of garbage. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Arlen Fontaine is implicated in the supply and distribution of narcotics. Good damn it. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. <coughs> this is your insurance. God damn. This is quite the scandal. <coughs> ah. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. 
So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name. He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. Bug sprayer. Mosquitoes. going to phone himself a doctor, I guess. Oh, God. That was insane. I love that. A polite invitation. Not very polite. I like now that the cases here are not so much about clues and questions. They're just all story-based. We're getting the cutscenes like that. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund has been dismantled the old-fashioned way. Four stars. Okay, we only got four stars for some reason, but... Nicholson Electroplating. Okay. So this is a DLC case, apparently, so I'm not sure what this one is like. Any news from Jack? There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side right now. Christ, what was that? Explosion. Something big. Oh, you shit. You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. Holy shit. It's a big explosion, man. Sorry, just kill someone. Everyone's like freaking out here. Jesus, this is insane. <laughs> Everyone's just stealing stuff. Scumbags, man. We have looters around the corner. Cuff them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Get for shooting the cops, man. <laughs> I was gonna arrest them, but I said, fuck it, they shot at cops. Commander that was pretty good. Let's go. Alright, well, that's where we're gonna end this part. We'll be back. We only have two more parts to go. We'll be back for Nicholson electroplating in the next part, though, and then we'll be doing the ending case after that. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.